hi guys you are welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome the name is archive boy today we are coming to sew a skirt a fitted skirt joined at the knee with a flare so if that's what you want to learn then let's get right into the video so the measurement i'm working with you measure from your shoulder to your knee shoulder to the knee is 20 inches so that's what i'm marking now shoulder to the knee is 20 inches i'll add two inches allowance i want the back to be a little longer than the front because of the person's hips when you have a, a you can see some people's hips is is up like it's standing so when you wear the skirt then it's like it's pulling the back so the back will come up so i normally add two inches at the back only the back side so i've had i'm adding two inches at the back so that's what i'm i'm i've ruled the two inches line then i'll cut it before i'll shape the skirt So now we are coming to cut the flare that will join at the knee. The length of the flare is 12 inches. So you cut 12, you fold it into four, then you fold it again. So it will be 360 flare, like a full flare. It's a full flare. So you divide your knee into eight, then you use it to cut the flare. So if the knee is 20, you divide it, you divide it into 8, it will be 5 inches. So you use it to cut the flare. Then the length is 12 inches. The skirt is 3 quarter sleeve. It, sorry, 3 quarter skirt. So that's what I'm coming to mark now. I'm marking the 5 inches. Then I'll mark the, the 12 inches. So the length is 12 inches. So that's what I'm marking now. So after that, then we shape the skirt. So all the time when you want to do it, you want to make that skirt, you measure your knee, then you use it to cut the flare. So when you cut it and it's small, you can cut it again then you get the measurement that you want so all the time when you're cutting add about two inches to the length if it's 10 make it 12 so that when you finish and too small then you can cut it then you get your measurements and the length that you want so i finished cutting the flare that we use to join the knee so now we'll cut the upper body of the skirt So I fold it off camera. That's the zip line. So the back is on the, uh, the front is on the back. Uh -huh. So you mark one inches in the front. You come down by one, then you shut it. But you shut it by one inches the front, but the back will be same length, one inch. So you connect it. You the the measurement I'm working with is the waist is thirty six. That's one inch. Then the sewing allowance will be one and a half inches. So that's what I've marked. Then from the shoulder. From the waist to the hip is 10 so the hip is 44 so i'll mark that and add sewing allowance one and a half inches then the bottom part the knee is 20 inches and the sewing allowance is one and a half so that's what i'm like so i'll connect all the lines and cut it so i'm connecting the lines then i'll cut it then i'll mark my that go to the machine go and sew it then come and show it for us to see all the time when you're making your skirt the front that is five inches and the back is five and a half 
so i'm shorting the front because the back will be longer than the front so i'm shorting it so that the back will be long then the front will be shorter so that if the person wear the skirt it will be nice and it won't be pulling at the back if i'm making sense yeah so that's what i'm marking the fabric i'm using is a silk it's a paradise yeah it's a silk with a stretch with stretch it stretches but it's a silk like the surface is shiny like a satin fabric but it's called paradise it's a little thicker so i'm cutting the one inch that we came down so i'll now cut the side then we mark at that then i'll go to the sewing machine to go and sew it and bring it for us to see So I'll mark the dart. The dart interval is 8 inches. So that's what I'm marking now. Then the dart is 1 inch. So I'll notch it. Both the front and the back. So that when we are cutting, we are sewing it. You see the, where you mark. So that you won't make a mistake. So I'm marking the skirt, uh, the zip line. So that's where the zipper will come. It's 12 inches. So I'll sew the bottom part. Then I'll attach my zip, make the dart. Then I'll shape it and bring it for us to see. So that's the flare. So the flare will join the knee. So I've marked the the dart. So the dart, the length, the front is five, the back is five and a half. So I finished sewing the dart. So now I'm going to shape it. Then I'll attach the I'll fix the zip, then fix the band, then I'll join the flare at the knee, then I'll come and show it for us to see. So that's the measurements I've used to shape the skirt. So I'm going to sew it, then I will attach the dust, the flare, then I will attach the, I will fix the band. So I finished shaping it, so I will now join the band to the, you can see the back is longer than the front, that's what I wanted to explain. So all the time when you are sewing for a client and the person, the person's hips is a little bigger and it's push up. Uh, that's what I can explain. You can make the back to be longer than the front by two inches, so that when the person wears the skirt, the back will not be pulling up or not be. It will pull up, and then the person's uh, knee will be showing. That's not nice. So I finished sewing the zipper and the flare. So I'm now going to fix, attach the band then i'll put it on the dress form for us to see the finished look please subscribe to the channel like and comment please give the video a thumbs up so that's the finished look the band is one one inch so that's the band there it's very neat it's, it looks like ready made like you are buying it from store because of the fabric so see how nice the skirt look it has come out 
nicely so you can try it and see so see you in the next one see you in our next video so you can try it and see